G'day everyone, welcome back. We are going to start on the cover. The last couple of little videos have been short for this. This probably won't be. Um, it might end up two videos depending on how long it does take for me to get through this because this is going to be a ginormous task. Um, easy! I don't think it's a complicated like that but just long. So we're going to um, kind of get started. All right, so remembering we've got like a double fold out, triple fold out folio that goes for like two meters. That's not the microphone. Um, we're gonna work with that. Now, I'm going to think about what we need to do before. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. How about? We decorate the inside, so then we've got a bit of an idea. Okay, let's do that. Okay, all right. First things first, let's put some things in that we've made. Um, and that will then give us the idea of what we're to do next. Um, which is easier said than done. All right, now I'm just looking at my pile. So here's the pile. Um, and we need to make one more thing before we can put this, start assembling this together. So, I'm going to get this out of the way. What we're going to make is another one of these mini journals. Okay, so I want two of them in here is my plan. So this is using some the journal papers that are in the kit, and I've printed them out, back to back, made a little thing. I think it's. 10 pages or 12 pages per 10, 10 pages per um, 10 sheets per thing. So that's what 20, 20 by 4, 40, 40 pages. Uh, no, 10 by 4. Yeah, 10 by 4, 40 pages. I promise I can add up maybe and multiply. But we're going to make another one of these. Okay, so just a little field guide, field book. Um, so here's another stack of. The signatures are all kind of just thrown in here, you know, in some kind of order. And we are going to put them together to make a journal. I have in as part of my kit a, a few book covers. So for this one, we're going to use this one here. And the first thing I want to do is cut this in half. So I'm like, yeah. So I'm just finding the halfway mark because um, it's easier than trying to measure it. Oh, I just looked across at my cutter and realised I've got a whole pile of stuff here ready to do this because I streamed this morning and so I throw it all on my cutter and now I can't get to my cutter. <sighs> oh my gosh. The thing of having 5,000 projects going at once. Okay, let's do this. All right. Keep it cut in half. Okay, we need six card stops. Card stop is going to be eight and a quarter by top. Alright. Okay. So I think that's what I made it. I should have checked there. It was. Good. Alright. Again, I'm not going to do anything too fancy other than um, fold this in half. And burnish down here. Bone fold. See, I put everything away to stream this morning and now I'm like, ah, where did I put all the bits? All right. So we've got that there. And then we're going to sew the signature in. Nothing too elaborate. Um, I think I might, actually I need to do some stuff first. Uh, I'm getting too excited for the sewing bit. The sewing bit's like the last bit. Anyway, I'm going to ink these. Um, Right up. 
right up. Yeah, feeling much, much better again today. Um, so what am I, day four into being diseased? Um, I think it is. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so. Yeah, so day four ish, day five is one of those days each. Um, and um, nah, I'm fine, which is good. I'm very, very lucky. Like I said, by the time you watch this, I'm long recovered. So, um, where did I put? Oh no, when you're looking for things and you don't know where they went, and you're like, oh really? Where did I put all of this stuff? I had a piece of material set aside for this. All right, I'm going to go look and then I'll come back. Okay, that didn't take me as long as I thought. I'd actually put it away with all the bits of scrap material. Go figure. I'd actually, anyway. Anyway. <sighs> we will do this. All right, I'm going to glue this guy on. Um, so my thought here, obviously, places to journal, write about whatever your whatever photos and memories that you've included in the album. Um, but I wanted it to look like little field guides, um, field books that you would take on an expedition. So there's that one. And onto the bag. Like I said, I always try to have, I don't know, I like to have a story behind my albums. Um, they, they allow me to be creative, if that makes sense. Um, by having a story, I kind of, it talks to me more. Um, lets me know what it wants to become. I know, that's kind of stupid, um, but it just is. If it doesn't talk to me, I find it really difficult to... To do what it what I need to do. Um, all right, I've got some little book corners now. Of course, n none of this is essential. I'm just doing it because it's cute and why not? Um, just add a little bit of you know authenticity to it. Um, okay, so I've just got some glue. Oh, where's me? I need my, my little handy dandy pliers. Best tool ever is this little micro tool. Love it. Um, anyway. Um, putting a tiny bit of um, glue into the corners. And then I'm going to squeeze them together a little bit. And then come in and squeeze the corner piece in. So that stays and then squeeze this piece down because remembering it's not really going over any book board or anything it's just a piece of cardstock so you know it's as good as it can be for the thing it's just aesthetics And I'm like, I have all this stuff, so why not use it? You know, if you don't use it, you just hoard it. And I, I hoard enough stuff. So <laughs> I'm kind of like, um, yeah, let's just use what we've got. Hmm. Right, there's another one. All right, I'm going to do the other two and come back because I don't think you want to watch me doing this. Okay, back. We're going to now add in... Oh, my desk feels like out of whack. Um, going to add a piece. This is just a piece of calico, unbleached linen, whatever it's called in your neck of the wood, just calico. Um, I wanted it as raw as possible. You know, I've got to have to hold my journal together because it's been out in the field. Fabric, fabric glue, right there in front of me, staring at it. 
Okay. Run that down there. Turn it over. This is obviously also to give a bit of strength to the spine because it is just a, a folded piece of cardstock. Um, so it's just to have something more for the signature to throw in. It's not required. I just thought, well, I may as well. It's pretty much my whole thing. Yeah, I may as well. Why not? Um, going to come in with my ink dauber and just with whatever's left on there, just dirty this up a little bit. It ain't going to be clean. I've been digging out for bugs now. It's like I got. I got dirt everywhere. All right. Yeah. So that's that. Now let's sew in our signature. Now this is. I am not a sewer. Okay. Do not. Do not in any way, shape, or form think that I'm going to do this well, because I'm not. Oh look, there's the other piece. That was the piece that was extra frayed. Oh well. That's okay. That's where I put it. That piece worked perfectly. However, so you know, I had a backup without even realizing I had a backup. About three times the length, around about two and a half, three times the length, whatever. Something like that. This is just wax thread. Um, this is a pin. <laughs> needle. Needle. That's what it's called. It's not a pin. Needle. Um, sewing. Not my thing. I do it if I have to. Alright. Look at that. Signature to put it all in. I don't want them all neat and tidy. I want them to kind of fill up the this thing a little bit so it's all kind of there but they don't have to be in order but you know what I mean. Um, clip clip clippity clip. And to put that one there and then make sure this one's in here right in I need to push that on up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I've just got them in, just making sure they're nicely into there, which they are. Going to get a poke tool. Um, could get a specialised piece of equipment, like, you know, the whole thingies and stuff over there, but it's that effort. I'm going to go in. Look, this has even got guidelines, this one, for me. So I'm going to go hold it together and out there, one. And I still did get it in the centre, but shh, don't tell people. There you go. Let's go for... Uh, two. And about the same place. There. Three. Will I get that in the same hole when I start sewing? Probably not. Alrighty. Coming in through the centre, just doing a three hole pamphlet. Not even trying to be fancy. Okay. Holding on this little bit. Coming in here. Trying to find my way through the hole that I made with the poke tool down there. So it's in through there, down through the bottom one, back out, back through this first one, and onto the other side of this. So there, so I've got one side coming through the other side, like that. That's it. That's my sewing done. And if Angie watches this back, which she probably will. Um, she will be cringing because she does the book binding. Uh, I don't. I don't even pretend that that's, that's my kind of area. I'd be useless. I can sew a button on. I can sew an outfit if I needed to. Just don't want to. Alright. Pretty much I'm like, if it needs a new button, I'll just get that new piece. <laughs> Unless I paid a lot of money for it, but yeah. 
I don't. I, I like, I actually like getting most of my clothes from op shops and stuff, so. Okay. Tying it nice and tightly one. Two. I'm just doing three for good measure. Um, when in doubt, tie lots. Um, it's taking off a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to do with these signatures left yet, so I'm just going to leave them long until I decide. Okay, there you go. There's our journal. Done. Boop, boop. So we now got two of them. So, there we go. So we've got two of our little um, field books that we can add to. Oh, wait up. I'm going to decorate the inside. Should remember to do that. Okay. Um, I need some paper. Need some paper. I just put all my paper, I sent it up to my aunt that I had sent it out. Um, sending a whole chunk up to my aunt that was printed out, like my, because I'm just using the ones that I printed out when I, um, was trialing things and I sent a bunch up to my aunt because she likes ladybugs and things like that like I do and um and butterflies and things and so I thought and she was the one that made me the ladybug rock red this one um and I've got to send a parcel up to her so I thought I'll send up some of these for her to use in her craft as well if she wanted to um but I've already, so that means that the most of the ones with any decoration are um, put away. But that's okay. I think I might actually use this and I might use that inside the envelopes. Why not? Okay. All right. A bit of fun. All right. Um, I've got my homemade tear ruler. So if you ever want to see how I made this, let me know. But there's my little homemade. This is a, a, a just a gentle continuous tear, and this side is more rough and ragged. But I'm just going to use the um, gentle continuous tear. Except for now, I'm on camera. I won't be able to tear at all because you know, useless. Because I had a look at how expensive uh, tear rulers were, and I went, yeah, no, not happening. Like I'm all for paying money, and uh, some things that I got the cheap version of, I then have eventually bought the you know more expensive pair or, or thing of item of, and um, you know like paper trimmers and stuff like that. And I wish I'd bought, just got the best one first. But a piece of plastic with some bumps in it. I'm like, really? Um, I'm happy to, to do some stuff, but not that. All right, let's get some ink. So I've got a feeling this will be, um, a few videos long this because I forgot that I even needed to do this <laughs> and what we're 20 minutes in and I haven't even decorated the journal let alone into um, starting on the album putting it together so that's okay hmm. so that gives you a bit of an idea of what my tear looks like if you wanted to see it Remember, this is just copy paper. This isn't good, like, expect, you know, thick paper. Um, 
it's just copy paper. I need blue book or blue sheet. I promise I do function as a human sometimes. Okay. why I'm using a glue stick is this doesn't need to bear any weight it's just paper against cardstock um, it's not going to hold photos any of that kind of stuff so glue stick will do the job so with that if I'd done it straight would have been good but you know that's okay Now also as part of the ephemera pack is a couple of envelopes. So I've printed them out. Um, and what number day is we going to fold them as they need to be folded? Okay. Now these are designed that they would hold um, photos, so same as size photos, I made them that size. Um, if they're printed on A4, I don't know if they're resized to um, letter size, I don't really know, you might have to adjust with the settings a little bit there, um, but you know I, I work in A4 because that's the size of everything I have. Um, being everywhere else but the United States. I don't know, again, you just don't like our, our system. You don't like metric. You like you like the other one, your imperial, whatever it is that you guys use, whatever it's called. Okay, that's one. Can I fold straight? No, apparently not. All right, that's a bit better. Okay, now I don't want the white inside and I didn't think about printing it on something that there, so I'm just going to tear this in half. And I am going to add it onto here. Making sure I'm getting my edges. Down. 
So what's the goths? Got any goths? Anything to tell me? Anything happening in your neck of the woods? It looks like me and Klaus, obviously they're going to be quiet and everyone's just working and I'll be like, mm, you know, not me distract the, the kids trying to distract the teacher to get out of work. It's the teacher distracting the kids because it's like, so, what's happening? What's going on? Anyone got anything to say? Okay. Now I'm just going to come and So if you buy these papers, you'll have to let me know what you think of them. Like, I mean, please, no, I'm, this is, I'm not in any way, shape or form an expert um, at this. And it, it's definitely as a learn as you go kind of thing. I'm learning how to do layers and whatever else and all that kind of stuff. So I am in no way, shape or form thinking this is, you know, professional standard work. But I had fun. I had fun trawling through all of the um, old books to find the images. Um, and, you know, reminding myself that there is a reason why I'm a geek, why, why science. Like, I just found it fascinating. Um, it's fantastic. Also, I remember that some people were, as I was, you know, because I was reading through it, some people so dry and I'm like yeah maybe that's a reason you're a um, entomologist because oh my gosh boring but it fascinates me that for a lot of these people they did the illustrations as well as the studies like that is skill like you know to be able to draw and the stuff to the science oh, it's just such skill. Um, all of getting all of those details in that then allows us for identification. That requires, you know, that's no e easy task. Um, where is your glue? Obviously, my um, I didn't get that piece there with my glue stick. Or I just didn't wait for it to dry, which is also probably highly likely because I am not the most patient of people, which I'm sure you know. Um, there's no big surprise there that patience is not my thing. I, I go at 100 miles an hour for a reason. Uh, problem is, is that I expect everyone else to go at 100 miles an hour. And that's, you know, it's not a reasonable expectation. Oh, I'm supposed to ink it. Hold on. Just going to ink this bit. The rest of it I can ink with it closed up. Can't over spit. It's not a reasonable expectation and I try to stop myself when I find myself getting impatient with people because they're not working at you know my speed so I'm like I do try to check myself um, sometimes like I'm okay at remembering to do that other day other days not so much I need to come down a little bit further here Did not judge the folding of this very well at all. Luckily, it's not to be said pocket. All right. Uh, envelope. Well, you know, this thing. Whatever this is.
I'm not expecting it to survive, you know, a six month journey by sea. Because for a lot of these guys, when they did their studies, that's what it would have been. Planes and, you know, a quick little trip in a, in a jet boat or something to an island. That, that wasn't what was entailed. It was a long time away from family and loved ones on a trip that who knows what was going to happen and what you're going to come across if you're going to return. Um, I mean, they, they certainly, knowledge we have today is based on the, the courage and, and um, forbearance of those before us, which is amazing. Alright, so I'm going to put that one here. We went without for us to understand more, and for the world to understand more. Right. For them to study that you know, certain people, and even from the beginning of time, you know, realizing that if I eat the bark of this tree, it takes away my headache. Lo and behold, there's salicylic acid and aspirin. Um, you know, to, to be able to discover those kinds of things. Or, oh, wait up, why is the mold from this stopping that grow? Very curious. Let's study that more. Oh, look, there's penicillin, you know, which has prevented so much death. Um, and I, I just, it is amazing. Sorry, sorry, if you hadn't realized, I'm a scientist. Um, you know, that's biomedical science is what I um, majored in. Uh, that was my degree. I majored in um, biochemistry, so chemistry of, of the body and um, neuropharmacology, pathophysiology. So diseases and drugs and stuff, um, mostly to do with the brain, but obviously a whole lot of things. But yeah, that was, I did a double major because I wanted to know it all. I wasn't allowed to do any more than a double major, apparently. Um, so yeah, it, it's fascinating. All right, so there we go. So that is our little diva lucky. Yeah, because I remember when I was doing my degree, they just coated the Drosophila fly. Sorry, the fruit fly. Um, and like DNA coding and, you know, the Human Genome Project was just starting looking into um, human genes and genetic markers and all of that. And to think where that's gone now and, and where we are and, you know, things like buckyballs and all the things that have been discovered and nanotechnology and it's just incredible. Sorry. I was just geeking out for a moment. That happens. Okay, let's think about now. I might do. I need to get ready to put these journals in. So the journals are going to go in here, in this smaller spine. So they're going to go through there. But I want you to be able to take them in and out. Um, so they're not going to be sewn in. They're going to be held in by elastic. So for that to occur, I need to make holes. I have worked out that if I just take my crocodile and go all the way into one inch. There we go, one inch. And go about the center. Boom, one, turn it around. Hope that I make it straight compared to the other one. Hold on, I just gotta get that piece out. It's um bit caught in there. Alright. Hope that it's kind of in line with the other one. Well it's kind of good and you're probably like, no, no, um, that's where I'm going. Alright. Gotta repeat on the other two. So on the other side. Thank you. 
Now, this is a very efficient um, d design of this. This folds out to a whole lot of things, but it takes up very little space. So if you're on the cabin on your um, ship, on your travels, this takes up very little room within your area, but holds a whole lot of stuff. Okay, efficient design, use of space. Okay, Brad's. Let's be bringing them out. Bradley, where be you, Bradley? Bradley, one, two, three, four. They be my Brad's. Hey, Brad, how you doing? Sorry. And they're not Brad's, they're eyelets. Mm. I'm pulling out vine. Maybe I have been COVID. -ed. No, it's just I'm just old and you know delusional. Um, I can't use COVID as an excuse for that because it's not really. All right, one. Two. All right, let's come in with crocodile. Crop, crop. the life out of you. Yeah. It's like squeezing a bug. Although I am not, I don't even do that. Um, cockroaches, I will if I have to. Um, I just prefer to have, you know, my house sprayed so that they don't come in. Um, but spiders and other things, they do not get, they do, got, do not get killed in my house. They get, um, if they're not bothering anyone, they stay. And um, can tend to be the only ones we get in the house are Daddy Longlegs and Huntsman, and they keep all the other bugs away. So I'm happy for them to hang around. And um, if I kind of think you don't belong, we move you. Um, I even, you know, I mean the cats do it inhumanely, but they do it felinely. But for me, even if I catch them a mouse, I do it humanely, and then I take them out to a field somewhere far, far away that they can't find their way back um, but I'm just I'm not innately someone that will take another thing's life without cause um, which is probably a good thing for boyfriends <laughs> all right so there we go we've got eyelets there okay I should have put down why didn't you tell me not to, to put down the decorative paper before I did that? You could have told me that, hey? <sighs> I'm such a fool. Actually, I don't think I'm going to put... I meant that. I'm not going to put decorative paper on these bits. I'm going to leave them plain. I meant that. Just saying. <laughs> actually, I think they'd look nice plain. I did actually plan on putting decorative paper there, but... I think they'll look nice plain and I've got a nice big thing, thick chunky bit of um, cord which I think will look awesome. So I'm going to figure out how much of that I need. Let's go for you, you will be more than enough. Um, do I want the knot on the inside or the outside? Just like, how much room will it take up if I have it there and I fold it? I did give myself a little bit of space, but might be better. Might be better to have that on the inside. Yeah, let's go on the inside. You're just watching me fiddle away here. I'm like, mm -hmm. yep, yep, she's crazy. I'm like, yep, yep, I am. Okay, so I'm pulling it. I'm not pulling it so tight that it's got no more give, but it's also not loose. Like, I want it to have some tautness to it. 
um, is what I'm going for. And here I need, you know, another hand, but apparently social distancing means I can't call upon children. But, you know, that's got a, a twang to it. So you want it to have a twang. Um, chop off that bit. Where's the fire starter? Um, I'm trying to remember where I've got the fire starter. There. Okay. Alright. So that's that. Actually, that looks really good. See? By uh, forgetting, I actually like the outcome. Sometimes that happens. I could pretend it's deliberate, but it really isn't. Like I said, it's just due to just pure good luck, which is pretty much everything I do. Let's go for about that much. It's going to be sad when I run out of this because it's of the colour of it. I mean, I, could, I can coffee dye other elastic, but I found that one somewhere. It says clearance there, but I think I, I think I got it at a even at a op shop. I, I can't remember, but um, but it's such a good colour because it's not. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Anyway, just rambling on now. Uh, did I set them? I did, didn't I? Okay. Maybe. Alright. Remember we want a bit of twang. Okay, now that's a layer. So that's that part done. Woohoo, we found some. Okay, and that then folds up like that. Okay, so we're getting there. All right, let's start putting things in for this exciting part. <laughs> okay, all right, for the center in the ephemera part of the thing i made some like page markers or um or you know those kind of things which are just out of pure pure goodness this is another perfect size for this i'm like how did that happen but anyway they are so i'm going to use one of them i'm going to leave the poppy one for outside because poppies are, are they're red like ladybugs so therefore they're awesome hmm. Got a goober. It's because I don't put the lid on this. It sits in a little glue pot, and sometimes I don't put it back into the its um, little section very well, so it just seals off. I'm going to glue this down and I'm going to say, well, you know, I'd like to say good afternoon to my, to one of the children that have bothered to come out and they've just woken up and I'll be back. Okay, back. So that's glued in. And then there was another piece of the um, long strips that I've got in the ephemera part, which is this um, example of um, butterfly segments. And it was like, cool. So I'm going to use them here and here. I think in the other side that you can't see, but it is over here. <laughs> I'm going to um, use them in there, I think. 
I was like, oh, when I don't mean for things to work, but they just work. It's like meant to be. Meant to be. Um, and in the um, digital pack, I did end up adding a few more pages of ephemera. Um, I made a couple of pages just of labels. Um, some with clear, like no background, and the other with um, the um, pa like you know old paper kind of coloured background because um, labels are always a good thing to have these blank labels and they allow you to add things and write your own stuff in there and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, so I just I created another couple of pages just of the labels. Um, but yeah, okay. So it was like so good that these just fitted so perfectly. I was like, wowza, how did I score that? Yeah, that is cool. What's that one? Okay, here we go, start. <sighs> we decided because of my, we're leaving that plane, yeah, okay, cool, cool. Um, let's start putting in pages that we have created. Okay, so we've got this one and what was the other big one? This one, I believe. So now it is to decide, do we want it on this side and this side? Or, this always looks way pinker than it actually is. I promise it's not pink pink. <laughs> it's, it's, it's more of like a, you know, pink red. But anyway, um, or this one. Mm. So that's going to open out that way. I think, I think I'm going to have it. So this will be the top. So they're both held down really well, so it doesn't really matter. But this might end up being a bit heavier than that. Mm, yeah, so I'm just going to go this way. Okay, this is the way I'm going to go. All right, I've decided. So now it's a matter of putting these on. So what I'm going to do is on the backs of this I'm going to add double-sided tape um, that way I, I can assure that the edges are all down where's my um hold on if I use that I'd be much smarter you know the thing that lets me cut it straight I'm just going to put a couple of pieces here. This is just for till the glue sets to hold it in. Um, I'm going to glue that, put it in, put this one in, and then I will come back. Okay, so I'm back. I have put it all in. Um, she's hefty. Woo! She, she's a chunk chunk um, and heavy and full of stuff. Um, so she's all put away into there. So all of the, the bits are within here. So they're all in here like so and like that and then we've got this one and this one and over to there and, there and all they're all in here and 
she closes up and there she is okay the only thing that takes up the space is the journal they're just there honestly because i wanted to make it think but um removing them you've got plenty of space for growth there's heaps of space to put in the photos and all of that kind of stuff so which is good however i'm like yeah i'm nearly an hour into this this um this video and i'm like i think i might just leave this video here and then come back and we'll work on the outside and and this bit here um this bit these bits have to be flat and it's all right i've got an idea of how to make them look good um well hopefully so i'm going to leave it there and the next video will be um finishing her off and um making her making her look like you know an entomologist's um goodie bag for <laughs> on the on on their journey i will see you in the next one um like i said um if you haven't already hit thumbs up subscribe comment all of that good stuff and i will see you later bye